Okay, I found this funny video. Types of Asian people. Okay, let's check it out. I know there's different types. You know, when people be thinking about Asia, they're not like... Asian people, you've probably seen them. Okay, that's loud enough. That's loud enough. Most people don't think of India, but like India's like you're Asian, but like you're brown, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, Indians are kind of like, because you see like at the black African people, like they got dark skin, but they got fuzzy hair. But these Indian people, they got the same skin, but they got like same hair as like white people, like, you know, straight. So yeah, but yeah, they're Asian. There's all different types, you know? I'm half Filipino, so I'm like the jungy, like jungle Asian, you know, be climbing trees and stuff like that. So yeah, tropical, so obviously they're more brown, and yeah, they're mixed, because Philippines have been invaded so many times. Spain, Japan during World War II, so yeah, I'm not sure, I, I might have some Spanish in me, Japanese, all types of crap. So yeah, I'm half, I'm half Filipino. So let's check this out, let's see how valid it is. Let's see how valid it is, because half my, half my family lives in Asia, so let's see. Asian people, you've probably seen them in the movies, you probably go to school Jungle with them, Asian. you might have even seen it them is. on the street walking their dogs. Wait a second. Anyway. bro, are you serious? What is the start of this vid? You might have even seen them on the street walking their dogs. Wait a- Nah. A second. Nah. Anyway, a lot of people believe in the myth that all Asian people are the same. And they are. But as an Asian person myself, I'm gonna walk- Bro, no. No. And bro, they sh they show the guy driving. Oh my gosh, I I feel like it's Asi Asian women mainly, especially old ladies that can't that can't drive. Cause yeah, my my mom's had her license for over a decade. Jeez, she's she's gotten really friendly with the gutter, with the gutter over over the years. If you know what I mean. You through all the different types of Asian people you will encounter in your life. First and foremost, you have the math nerds. That's not now, me. The only place you're going to encounter math nerds is within an algebra or calculus class. So their spawn rate outside of math class is spawn rate. because they're always at school or at home in their room doing math problems all day. But be warned, if you choose to challenge a math nerd by raising your hand in class, you are in one heck of a battle. You can study your ass off, you can do all the practice problems, and somehow the Asian math guy is still gonna get 100%. Nah. Your dumbass is gonna get like a 90. That's the law of the universe. But there is one- Okay. So... I, I remember in primary school, because I, I live in a- I live in a really small town. Like 5,000 people. So there isn't that much cultural diversity, mainly just like, you know, white, that's mainly it. There's there's not many like Asians or like, you know, Polynesians, like, yeah. Cause small small Australian town, but I used to live in a city, capital city, city of Northern Territory, in, in Australia, Darwin, and yeah, like some of the smartest kids they were Asian, but it's not like the Asians that they were ch showing like Chinese, Korean, or whatever they are, like with the small eyes. They were like Indian, you know, different Asian, but still Asian, but yeah. Yeah, they, they were like the smart ones. Wait to beat a math nerd in one on one combat. One Every on time they combat. show off their counting skills, you just say to them, Mr. Mr. Chan, hi. Do you know how uh, the number zero was invented? How a number zero invented is how many bitches you get. <laughs> this technique will leave them so defeated that they'll go home and jerk off to the pixels on their ultra nah. gold edition TI 84 calculator. Bro, yeah, are apart you from serious? the math nerds, you also have the hot Korean dudes. Now, even though I said Korean dude, these guys are usually Chinese, but they put on so much makeup and lipstick that they look like a goddamn BTS album cover. They put on lipstick? You can usually find these guys in the bathroom mirrors checking themselves out or applying lipstick to their already red cherry ass lips. Now, I'm not going to pretend that I don't find them beautiful because as a matter of fact, they're kind of hot. I'm straight, by the way. But these guys look more feminine than actual women. They also have the best riz out of all the Asian people despite looking like actual females and you can always find them in the cafeteria sitting with all the girls. One thing you have to be careful- Bobby Lee! Best- best Asian comedian I know. I don't know him, but, but you know what I mean. But yeah, bro, those- those K-pop guys? Oh my gosh, in Korea? In Korea? Bro, the girls go crazy. The girls go crazy for him in Korea. Like, no lip tint? What do you, do you call lipstick lip tint? Is never assume they're a girl. One thing you have to be careful is Bobby never Lee. assume they're a girl. 
because I made that mistake once. I approached this girl in quotation marks and I asked for a number and it turns out it was one of those Asian dudes. Lady boy, lady boy. Bro, if, wait, if any of you guys go to Thailand and there's a girl trying to like bring you into a bedroom with her, stuff like that. Bro. Lady boy. With heavy makeup on especially yeah did i say thailand yeah thailand especially and so he he beat the shit they're not lip tint what is lip tint bro that bro that's make that's lipstick do, are you trying to cope do you use do you use do you use that let's let's and go it turns out it was one of those asian dudes with heavy makeup on and so he he beat the shit out of me with his taekwondo next up we have the athletic asians or as i like to call them uh, the kims that hit the gym now these guys are usually obviously found in the gym. You can spot them outside the gym. They have like a 30% spawn rate out outside the gym. The one defining feature Dang. of an Asian gym bro is their massive legs. Because unlike the other races, short. Asians never skip leg day. The rice fields need plowing. If you try talking to them, they're just gonna start telling you about their- Nah mouth. bro, it's they got the big legs if, they, if they're lifted because they're short bro, you know? It's a lip dye. Bro, what is lip dye? Is that what these K-pop people use? Macros and how much protein- Right back! Start telling you about their macros and how much protein they've had today. And hold up, I just realized something. Maybe the reason they like working out so much is because their names sound like exercise terms. Like, think about it. Protein powder. Carbohydrate. Nah. <laughs> cardio <laughs> machine. Moving on from that, we have the Crazy Rich Asians. No, not not the movie. The actual Crazy Rich Asians. I'm a little now, these guys probably have a mom or dad who's a doctor and their entire life path is set up for them. Go to school. Get a plus. Be a doctor. Some of them can be, be chill, doctor. but some of them just go around flexing their Gucci watches and their Louis Vuitton handbags. Mm -hmm. I always thought Asians carrying around expensive handbags was hella weird because um, it's manufactured by their cousins. Oh. That one, there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have it. I've never, I've never, I've never actually seen this like archetype of Asian because I live in a small town. But yeah, I mean, I do see them when I visit like the city, like Sydney, and that sometimes. But I've never actually known one like this. Now the one you've all been waiting for, the weebs. Now just to clarify, there's a difference between normal people who watch anime and the weebs because the weebs try to make it their entire goddamn personality. A normal person will watch an anime and maybe talk about it a bit and maybe even get a figurine, but a weeb will make a Twitter account just to shit on other anime and explain why his favorite one is the absolute best in the world. Yes, I'm talking about the motherfuckers who inflated Full Metal Alchemist to number one on my- Never anime. even heard that. That shit is not the best anime. Another interesting thing about weebs is you, you can usually smell them way before you see them. Uh, I was friends with this one uh, nasty smelling weeb in high school. And all I gotta say is the last time this dude showered, Goku was still a kid. On the same hierarchy level as the weebs are the whitewashed Asian kids. Now I'm allowed to say this because I'm Asian, but these dudes are literally bananas. Yellow on the outside, white on the inside. The bananas. They speak like white people, their friend group is white, their girlfriend or boyfriend is white, and they even pack goddamn tuna sandwiches for lunch. If you ask them about what they do in their free time, they're never gonna say some- Bro, is that me? Is that me? I'm not full though. I'm not full Asian. I'm like half a Aboriginal, which is like the native people of Australia, the brown, the brown people of Australia. But yeah, but like, all my friends are white. Like I live in a small town, but before I'm like, I used to live in the city. And yeah, I wouldn't say I'm whitewashed because my mom is like, she still speaks Tagalog, which is what Filipinos speak, you know. I wouldn't say I'm white. Uh, I don't know. Am I whitewashed? I don't know. Asian shit, like watching anime. Instead, they're going to tell you about how their their favorite thing is playing crochet. That's not me. Whatever it is that white people do for fun. Now, the worst enemy of these whitewashed Asian kids is the next one on our list. The hood Asian guys. Hood Asians. Now, these dudes are literally the opposite of the whitewashed Asian kids. They usually... Yeah, we don't have none of these here. This is like a, an American thing. Hood Asians skip classes they hang out with all the other hood dudes and they say the n-word a lot even though they be yellower than the sun 
You can find them in the basketball court, but they're usually on the bench because Asians be like 5'5 five, five and below. <coughs> also, this one is from experience. The way you differentiate an actual Yakuza member versus like a hood Asian dude is that if you try to get in a fight with them, actual Yakuza member might whoop out a knife and stab you. But the hood Asian dude is just going to put up his hands and say, what's up, my nigga? What's up with it? <laughs> hey, what you trying to do? Yeah. And then he's just going to wait for his black friends to fight for him. And fuck. Yeah. Hood guy? Hood guy? Throw hands? Like, they want to beat you up, but Yakuza? Yeah. Yeah, you're just going to get murdered. Finally, the last one on our list, the one you've all been waiting for, the autistic Asian kid. Nah. These are my favorite guys. Because all of us waiting for the autistic. Bro, why does he have Asian like. Kid. Now, these are. Bro, he's got like these Mickey Mouse arches. Why are they so big? And bro's drawer is gigantic. Oh my gosh. He could probably fit a watermelon in that kids now these are my favorite guys because all my friends in high school were autistic asian kids and wow. these guys will say the most unhinged retarded and borderline criminal shit that would get you a 90 year prison sentence and then take it back with the words i'm playing i'm playing i love these guys so goddamn much because they're literally responsible for john my cena? sense of humor yeah like they bro john cena can full on speak like mandarin he might be a chinese spy for all you know me to those social credit memes and those videos of John Cena speaking really shitty Chinese that are just funny as fuck to watch. You can usually find the autistic Asian kids in the back of the class while the teacher is giving a lecture. And they just be talking about the most random shit in life, like the Cambodian War of 1971 or how dogs actually taste good. Now, as I was doing research uh, for this video, my Asian friend took me to a dog restaurant. So here is the full nah. unedited clip of me nah. trying dog for the first time. All right, time to try this shit, man. <coughs> that is some good ass German Shepherd. That was a good vid. That was a good vid. That was a good vid. Yeah. Most of it was true. Most of it was true. Yeah. Bor Boris. Boris. Big Boris place of this. And yeah. Valid bit, valid, valid, valid. Not the dog bit. I mean, some places, but yeah, it's just like, yeah, most Asians, most Asians don't be eating, don't be eating their dog, you know. But yeah, lo lots of this stuff is true.